At this time, I'd like to introduce the Apollo 11 crew, astronauts Neil Armstrong, Michael Collins, Edwin Aldrin. Neil? It was our pleasure to have participated in one great adventure. It's an adventure that took place not just in the month of July, but rather one that took place in the last decade. We all here and the people listening in today had the opportunity to share that adventure over its developing and unfolding in the past months and years. It's our privilege today to share with you some of the details of that final month of July that was certainly the highlight for the three of us of, of that decade. We're going to divert a little bit from the format of past press conferences and talk about the things that interested us most, in particular the, the uh, things that occurred on and about the moon. We will use uh, a number of films and, and slides, which most of you have already seen. And with the intent of, of pointing out some of the things that we observed on the, the spot, which may not be obvious to, to those of you who are, who are uh, looking at them here from the surf surface of Earth. The, the flight, as you know, started promptly. And I think that was characteristic of, of all the events of the flight. The Saturn gave us one magnificent ride, both into Earth orbit and on a trajectory to the moon. Our, our memory uh, of that actually differs little from the reports that you have all heard from the from those previous Saturn V flights and and those the, the previous flights served us well in preparation for this flight in, in the boost as well as the, the subsequent phases. I'll, we, we would like to, to skip directly to uh, the translunar coast phase and uh, remind uh, ourselves of, of the chain of events, that long chain of events that actually permitted a landing, starting with the undockings, uh, the tr transposition and docking sequence.